Hello everybody, this is Mr. Shaban. Today we're going to complete the unit of force in action with the lesson of uh, pressure. Pressure is our fourth lesson in this particular unit. By the end of the lesson, you need to know the following. The pressure is caused when a force acts on an area. Uh, a big force acting on a small area creates a high pressure. The keywords of today's lessons is pressure. So first we're going to uh, take the equation how to calculate the pressure. Ca pressure can be calculated by the help of dividing the force by the area. Uh, same as density, we have density equals mass divided by volume. But over here pressure is going to be force divided by the area. Uh, as you can see in this picture, a carpenter uses a nail to join two pieces of wood together. Over here, the hammer is uh, used to hit or apply a certain force on the nail in order to make the nail go through the wood. The nail has a pointed sharp head. Why do you think the nail has a pointed sharp head instead of having a flat head? I'm talking about the part which is found over here in this particular wood. Why is it too sharp and pointed? Yes, exactly. It's sharp and pointed, so the force which is applied from the hammer is going to be concentrated on a very, very small area, and this is going to make the nail penetrate the wood. On the other hand, we can say that by applying a huge amount of force in a small area is going to increase the pressure, so the nail is going to go through the wood perfectly. Uh, over here we have a picture that illustrates uh, how uh, different vehicles might apply different pressure on the earth or on the floor. Over here you have uh, this uh, particular vehicle has a very large surface area, an area of contact which is very large with the ground. On the other hand over here we have a lower uh, contact area with the ground unlike this vehicle. So this means if both of them have the same uh, weight, both of them are going to push down against the ground with the same force, but both are going to have different pressures. Because over here, we have a large surface area. So the area in contact between the vehicle and the ground is going to be high. So the pressure is going to be low, perfect. But over here, in the other hand, we have a smaller area so the pressure is going to be uh, sorry the force is going to be uh, concentrated and this is going to apply more pressure than the pressure which is caused by the other vehicle so we can state that as the area of contact is smaller the force is going to be concentrated and the pressure is going to be very high on the other hand when the area of contact is larger the force is going to spread out across the area and this is going to cause yes less pressure on the ground so over here we have a higher pressure vehicle on the ground here we have a lower pressure vehicle on the ground on the other hand the same example can be uh, used in the camel's feet and the teeth of the shark as you can see the teeth of, of the shark is very pointed okay so when the jaw of the shark close or grab something an object or a animal fish or whatever this is going to make the force more concentrated on a specific area which is the body of the other animal and this is going to help the shark to kill the other animal so the a huge amount of force will be concentrated because the area is very very small the area of contact between the teeth and the skin is going to be very small and this is going to make the force concentrated and this is going to increase the pressure on the particular animal on the other hand in order for the camel to survive in the desert the camel has a white feet the white feet is going to help the camel to spread the force uh, uh, on the ground so the camel will not sink in the ground so this is a large area of contact which is causing a small uh, pressure and this is a small area of contact which is causing a very high pressure Right now I want you to think about the answers of these uh, questions. These are the course book questions for this particular lesson. I'm going to give you three minutes in order to figure out the answers for these questions and then I'm going to double check the answers with you.
Okay, guys, time is over. Let's start first with the first question. Who will create a greater pressure, a heavy person standing on a bed or a lighter person laying on the bed? So the one which is going to create the huge pressure is going to be the heavy person standing on the bed because heavy person is going to have more force. Not only that, but also standing means that the force is concentrated on a small area, which is the feet of that particular person and this is going to increase the pressure so the pressure is going to be high in the case of a heavy person standing on the bed second question explain the following in your answers use the word pressure force and area a truck used in the desert has white tires do you remember the previous or the second last picture that we have discussed together we said if the tires are very wide, this means that the force is going to be spread uh, on a larger area and the larger area is going to spread the force, so force will be scattered and the pressure is going to be very low. On the other hand, cricket stump uh, has a sharp, pointed, uh, sharp point at one end. This is going to, as we discussed, this is going to uh, press the sharp end, uh, sorry, it will uh, be easier to press the sharp end into the ground because the pushing force act on a small area so the small area is going to uh, lead to a greater pressure drawing a, uh, a drawing pen has a sharp point at one end and a large flat head at the other end so uh, the point is sharp so that there is a greater pressure uh, the force acting on a small area so the pressure will be high the head has a large area so that the force acts on a bigger area and the pressure is going to be low perfect i hope you have enjoyed today's lesson and see you next time